Imagine a world where the energy we waste every day is returned to the electric grid, making enormous savings. The team of Professor Rufer is working on the recuperation of kinetic energy, the energy of movement, that is lost when we apply the brakes to a vehicle. They are perfecting systems that allow trains to decrease by half their electrical consumption. On the scale of trains weighing several hundred tons, this technique requires the use of supercapacitors going through millions of cycles of charge and discharge. A train like the one we see here will typically have an extremely large mass. To get a train like this moving, you have to accelerate it. You need extremely powerful propulsive motors. When you set such a large object in motion, once the maximal speed of this object has been attained, you find yourself with a lot of kinetic energy. A train like this travels at around 200 kilometers an hour, and such a mass at such a speed will acquire so much kinetic energy. The easiest way to slow it down is to apply a mechanical brake, with the disadvantage that the accumulated kinetic energy is transformed into heat. This resource is therefore totally lost. The technique known as kinetic energy recuperation, or regenerative braking, consists of inverting the functional process. The propulsion motors of the train go into a generator-style mode. The equipment manages to transform the energy into electricity and finally re-injects it into the overhead lines. This motor can work as a standard motor, that's to say transforming electrical energy into mechanical energy, but the same machine can also work in the opposite direction. We can use it as a mechanical energy converter. We recuperate this mechanical energy when the vehicle goes downhill or when it decelerates, and the same machine transforms the mechanical energy into electrical energy, which can be returned to the power supply. À, à, à travers le système d'alimentation. Surface and underground trains will consume less and less energy thanks to the ingenuity of researchers, contributing to the preservation of our energy resources.